Hey guys and welcome back to another video today we're working on Russo's game once again and basically we're taking what we did already and 100% well, actually, I'd say about 70% revamping it to make it all look better. And he said overall he wants a more open feel. Personally, I did like this layout. I just felt everything was very accessible. But he wants a more open and grand feel, especially the things he has pointed out is, of course, the openness of the map. So you're not just in the center of everything. And he wants the portals to be more grand. So we're going to start. He also wants the map to be bigger. And here we go, guys. I made the new spawn area. It's basically the same thing, just bigger on every side and a bit longer so it's not as square. And then we just have to start filling it in. So I did draw something out on my uh, snipping tool and I closed the snipping tool so I don't have that. But check out these portals. Uh, boom! Now, I do must, uh, I must confess, I didn't make these. He sent them to me, so he just wants me to use these instead of the ones I made, which is understandable. So, there is too many portals. I have to figure out which ones we need and which ones we don't need. I'm gonna get those placed, and we'll move on from there. All right, guys, so far, so good. Check it out. Here's what I got, and, uh, they're the best match that I can have with the portals they gave me for the worlds up here. Now, of course, we'll need a main portal to the next world, which will be probably a whole different video and i just ask if they want me to make that or if they're gonna have it made i'm down with either way but up next we're gonna slap some paths down on here let me find center of the map so i'm just gonna grab the position right here i'm gonna grab a circle let me switch this back to uh 0.5 as well let's grab a cylinder rotate turn uh rotate turn there we go and let's paste the position into that so here's the center of the map Let's drag this up. Perfect. Now it is exactly 0.5. And we could just kind of make this as big as we want. It doesn't need to be too big, but I don't want it to be too small since it'll be the spawn. And I usually like to have about four spawn points. I'm also going to push it back from the center so you're more towards the waterfall. This is going to make us have pretty much one direction of travel for everything that we want to do so the flow of the map should still be pretty good all right let's go ahead and grab some color for that and i am gonna fix the uh little box for it just because that bugs me so you know there we go now it's a perfect box all i have to do now is add in a part for paths we're gonna basically make this the exact same height just like that the exact same color as well and now we make it a like one path shape if that makes sense so we're gonna spawn in a dummy perfect block rig there we go and we're gonna see how this looks pretty good it's not uh too thin and it's not too thick i actually like that so we're gonna start it maybe i uh, let me see let me draw this out again real quick so on windows we got a snip tool and it's pretty awesome you just grab it like this and now we could draw out our paths i was thinking maybe having two paths so they kind of branch one out this way and one out this way so it kind of goes like that, but then I also need maybe something this way over here and something this way over here. And then we have this huge spot, which could be a shop, I guess. So let me draw that in. Yeah, I think we're going to do something like this and then just have like weird connecting paths, sort of something like that. And maybe even connect these two somehow. All right, so with that idea in mind, let's go ahead and move this to the side and I'm going to line it up sort of at the same angle as this one right here. Now we go to plugins, this beautiful plugin called Archimedes, guys. I don't like the updated version. I feel like I liked the old one better. I don't know. Maybe I just got to get used to it, but uh, maybe I just don't like change. Let's make this uh, 15 and now let's find probably... There we go. Perfect. So... If we render this, we're going to render it 1, 2, start coming back. So we're going to go negative 10. We're going to render this a few times. We're going to wind it back. So let's go back to 15 like this. And then we're going to go to, I'd say 5. We're going to try 5. Wait, no, hold on. Would it be negative 5? Probably negative. Let's go negative 10. I feel like it's going to be negative 10. And we can wind it back to here maybe one two and then we're gonna go back to 15 to go into this just like that guys now i'm gonna grab all these parts okay hold on <laughs> let's start with this first one here and then scroll down to the last one still no oh 
Okay, no need to fear. Power selectors are here. So I'm gonna just grab all of this like this. Perfect. And then deselect that. Deselect our power selectors and group. Now we have just the... Oh my gosh, dude. I'm, I'm really bad at the life thing right now. Let's get the base plate out of here, bro. And yes... I need to still organize the workspace. I'll get it done, I promise. Now we have just our path. I'm gonna duplicate that, turn, turn, and then drag it over. So we have like kind of the same path on both sides. I think it looks pretty good. Let's move it out just a little bit more though to right here. There we go. And we're just gonna rinse and repeat that process for different shapes of paths. All right, my dudes, the paths are done. Up next, we're gonna use a beautiful plugin called Bevler. And I can just click it, and as you can see, it rounds out the edges of these, and it's not really needed, but I do think it gives a lot better of an aesthetic overall, and makes it seem like a bit more effort was put in. Either way, great plugin. So we're going from this to this, guys. We're doing pretty good. I am going to start grabbing some of the assets like the potions, the upgrade shop, jumps, and index, and eggs, and leaderboards. We have a lot of stuff over here that we need to grab and kind of transfer over. So let me grab these. I'll grab this little guy too. I guess why not? So let's copy all this, bring it over here, and uh, we're going to get everything placed the best we can and see what else we need to fill up after that. So I think last time I updated you guys, I was at the paths, but fear not, everything is pretty much copy and pasted over and then just redoing the layout. So I made the paths, they requested having some water go through the map, which I did want to do previously, but I couldn't figure out how to work it in with the uh, old layout. So scrap this whole map and move on to this one. I think it's looking really, really good. Let me grab our spawn pads. We have four. I'm just going to kind of move those over so we spawn here instead. Oh, yikes. Let me uh, let me move these in. I do like to have four spawn pads in pretty much every game I make, just so players don't spawn on top of each other. To me, it seems a little bit more professional. But if we go ahead and play, I've got the rocks, I've got the borders, I've got the trees, textures on the ground. Oh, gosh. Ignore my avatar. <laughs> textures on the ground and all that. And uh, up next, we need to make some bridges so we could fill like the gaps where the paths don't connect. There's three of them, one here, one here, and one back here. But I do like this, considering you spawn in, instantly you see potions, jumps, your upgrade station, and the index. There's leaderboards over here, leaderboard pedestals over here, eggs right here. And it look if you look back to the back of the map, you can also see portals which draw your attention because there's going to be a lot happening over here as well. So... Everything a player needs is right within the walking distance, and that's what I wanted. And everything a player could want in the future, aka the portals, you have to sort of explore the map first. And that's what Russo wanted. So, I think we're at a happy compromise. I hope he likes it. Let me go ahead and make the bridges, and then the spawn might be done. Alright guys, so I've been working on this. Bridges are in. The portal's got a full revamp. How we have those set up, there is a staircase up to each side now, as well as they're just a bit more separated. The team over there with Russo did want a clear, like, shot, so like right when you spawn in you could see the portals. Uh, I don't know where else to move the eggs, and the center of the map feels very open now and just kind of plain, so hopefully they, uh... They know what they want me to do for that. <laughs> but once we get that done, I think the lobby will be done. And man, am I excited. This thing is turning out a lot better than the first one. We've got a waterfall that actually leads somewhere now. We have a cooler portal section as well as cooler portals. And uh, it's just coming out a lot better than the first version of this map. I'm super excited. And I think next time I check in with you guys, this lobby should be fully finished. Alright guys, a lot has changed. We hopped into a call to get the map finally settled out, and I think it is looking pretty cool. Leaderboards right here, leaderboard pets back here, we got some shops, cool cool, your jump shop, your index, and back here, your machines for gold and rainbow. This one's a placeholder, but you know. It's looking pretty good overall. The spawn from this right here, which is, uh, you know, alright, it's okay. To this, just so much more going on. I really like it, guys. Hope you do too. That is going to wrap it up for today. If you did enjoy and want to see more content like this, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Have a great day. Later.